Everybody's in the world of strength and conditioning is like, I'm a, I'm a ground-based guy, I'm a machine guy, I'm an Olympic lifting guy, and I'm like, I'm a guy, I'm a coach that's going to do the best for our players. And in order to do that, you have to build individual plans for everyone. With the analytics we have, the science we have, and especially the, the key performance indicators we have, we're not getting lucky anymore, we're getting right. You're gonna be at 140.1 as well, so when the low goes up, we can see it. Push that knee down, hands up. Now you feel it? Good, now you're gonna rotate opposite way now, this way, and you're gonna feel When it. you're sitting there and you're like, okay, I got these three guys that are playing a lot, all three different bodies, but I have a lot of coaches say, just do the same thing, you can't do the same thing. Everybody's so different. No, no, no. Cody only has two. So that's when our sports performance team comes together and we have some great plans for every single one of these individuals to actually go on this linear progression of getting better throughout the season instead of just maintaining. Good job, Cody. Just like that. Perfect form. I take form over weight any day. We can increase weight weekly. See that? If the load goes up, it changes our average velocity for each set. Here at the University of Colorado, it's, it's really one of a kind. We're integrating data in a way that no one else is doing to this level. So we have a host of technologies available to us here in the weight room for everything from readiness to recovery. So we have a force plate to look at jumps. We have a force frame to look at hip strength. And we have a Nord board to look at hamstring strength. Don't think so much. Sit your hips back and bend your knees at the same time. We have velocity-based training trackers. It changes the average speed, okay? That's allowed us to have sensors on our barbell as well as iPads at our rack. And it allows us to really work with our players in real time, make adjustments as needed, um, and it, it directly provides feedback to our student athletes. See, 0.73, 0 0.63, 0 0.80. You're tell you why, but you finally warmed up. Warm up's important. So here at Colorado Basketball, we are able to track every part of our movement in the weight room, but also on the basketball court. So our players are able to wear sensors that allows us to track the intensity of movement in practice, the volume of movement. There's thousands of metrics available just with that little device. We have millions of data points coming in every day, and my job is to paint the big picture. So how do we see how all these pieces play together? For me, it means making reports that are quick and easy to understand, um, and are actionable, most importantly. One, come on. Two, good job. One more. The first one, the first one, the difference between your first one and your third one, the third one, you're doing this. You're just trying to push it up and back and rack it. Just think about doing it just like the first one. First one, you broke the bar, last one engaged, down, explode, right? 0.78 compared to 0.38. You understand? That, that's what we need from first to three, it's only three reps, so we gotta stay engaged, okay? Good job. Steve Vindelhart is one of the best coaches I've had the privilege to be around. You can't look past your opponent in any game. Does everybody that plays in college division one is good. He has an eye for the numbers, and I love that, that he's able to incorporate the precision of the numbers, of the data we have, and he's able to incorporate that into the art of coaching. I mean, I think it's special. I don't think there's anything like that in the country. Lock in. That's all you got to keep thinking about. I can tell you if somebody, just the way they're walking, if they're having a bad day. I see you, Cody. Right, my job's to teach them is habits, number one, discipline, number two, and I need them to be focused. There you go, KJ, lock up, baby, lock up. Hands, 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 let's go. That's a bucket, that's a bucket, son. I think when you think about toughness and grit, like, it's tough to do your job perfect every single play for 40 minutes, doing it right. Not just going through the motion of doing it, like doing it right. That's, that's toughness, to be honest with you. As the game went on, you finished your cuts, you handled the physicality. Good job. Yeah, absolutely. That's why you're in the weight room. That's why you're in the weight room, to handle that physicality. And then grit is just getting it done. Bottom line, no matter what it takes, no matter what you have to do. Javon Halley, at the end of that game, had a hell of a game against Townsend. He's shooting free throws. I waited for him to do Kota Pata, the stands are empty. Dude's shooting free throws at the end of the game. And it's like, that's, that's toughness and grit, stuff that nobody sees. And this team has it. Here's Williams, he's transitioning. That's why I'm been excited, is when you see that with a talented team, but they have toughness and grit, it's, it's a special group. You could tell they love each other, but you could tell they're competitive. We got some pit bulls, and I'm not talking about the pit bulls that 
stay around your house. I'm talking about the pit bulls from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. They outside patrol. Gets around it, throws it away. KJ with the steal. Here we go. Look out below. We got some guys on that team that are just hungry for winning. They don't care what their stat line looks like. They don't care how it gets done. All they care is about winning for each other. And I think when you have that, it's poetry in motion. Great pass! Great, great, great pass, KJ! When I look back at the end of the season, I want to be able to say they played for each other, they loved each other, and if they did that, then it's going to be a hell of a season.